Doop do 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 Welcome to Let's Rusty's Rocket. Hope. Just a quick introduction to myself as we start our first Let's Rusty's Rocket hope. project today. I live in Cleveland. I love motorcycles, fixing motorcycles, smoking pipes, and making pipes. Running, although that is a new thing. I used to hate running. Minimalist running, making minimalist footwear. I like camping, backpacking, and making camping and backpacking gear. I have three kids. Girl, boy, boy. We are adopting a girl from India currently. I'm sure I'll talk about that a lot. My beautiful wife. And I just hope you enjoy this journey together. So my oldest daughter, Rihonan, is getting this totally sweet armoire painted for her bedroom. Of course, she picked the colors, nice and bright. And then inside, what's totally awesome, I reinforced the floor. And not only will it serve as your normal armoire, which... But we're gonna cut a hole in the back and put this in front of her closet so she can crawl into it as though she were living in the magical kingdom of Narnia. Are you totally excited, Ree? Yes! It is currently two days before Christmas, and even though we're in Cleveland, it is 65 degrees outside. I decided to attempt to rip off the Bob Claggett video um, from I Like to Make Stuff, where he paints these cool two-tone trays. Um, I don't have a table saw or routers or any cool big woodworking tools, so I bought this at Michael's for $5. My wife loves trays, however, so I think she will be thrilled to death. Uh, what we did was we just masked off uh, the outside, painted the inside this beautiful teal color, which matches my daughter's armoire, because it's the same color. And then I put on a coat of Minwax Polyshade Stain and Polyurethane in one step Bombay Mahogany. Uh, I chose this stain and color because when we bought this house, this stain and color were sitting on that shelf behind me. So we let this dry overnight. The instructions then say to sand it with a high grit uh, steel wool and uh, so I have some 4 out steel wool from my other woodworking endeavors and uh, we'll give it a quick sand down so the sanding did definitely create an issue where there is now steel wool fur all over it um, I'm going to say that ad that adds to the rustic nature of the piece. But for now, to try and minimize said rustic nature, we are going to wipe it down with this cloth, try to remove as much of that as possible. There is now a mixture of steel wool and red fibers from this rag. So, we're just going to go ahead and stain it again. And uh, my daughter wanted to make my wife a pair of shelves. She even drew out some pretty amazing little plan showing step by step how we were gonna construct this thing. You know, at a seven year old accuracy. But I was still very impressed. <laughs> yes, my workbench is very messy. Has nothing to do with me being lazy. Has everything to do with me going for a very conscientious Jimmy DeResta thing. All right, we are two, maybe three coats of inside paint in. We have two coats of stain. It did dry when left overnight. Uh, it's still splotchy in places. I'm sure eventually these videos will be worth watching.
steel wool stuck in the finish, but you know what? For what this is and who made it and who it's going for, uh, I'm really happy with it. Okay, now, you're gonna paint this. Just don't get it, just leave it on the paint. But just paint. Leave it on the table. Here, hold it like this. Wait, so when you. Stand over here. There you go. Oh, wait, wait, keep it on the tape. After you're done, what you're gonna. Alright, it says I love you now. Good job, bud. Mom, I'm